In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to add light flares or light effects to your transition. So here, as you guys can see, we've got sound effects, we've got some adjustment layers, and we have already a transition um, that is zooming in to you know, this next clip from clip one to clip two. Now, what we want to do is add some, some light flares to kind of distract and get creative with our transition. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the light pack that I have, you know, installed. If you guys don't know how to, you know, find and locate light flares, um, there is a separate video on that. So check that out. And what I want to do is I want to look through these light flares and I want to find the section of light that I want to add. So I'm going to press I here to signify this as the input. And then I'm going to look as this kind of light pans around and press O there. All right. Now I'm going to drag this light over the portion of the clip where there is the transition taking place. And I'm going to change the um, overlay format of it. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm clicked on that light transition. I'm going to come to the effects control panel here. And I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. OK. Um, and now I want to watch this. All right. I think that I'm going to start this as soon as the transition starts zooming, which looks to be about right there. And I want to end it, you know, when my light flare ends. OK, so as you guys can see, uh, we did add some color, but it kind of doesn't fade in well. To make it a little smoother, what we can do is we can come to the again, click on the, the light leak. We can come to the middle point right of where the transition where the light should be the brightest and we can set a toggle animation on the opacity of that light flare and we can move it down if we want to a little bit you know let's say maybe let's make it 85 and then let's go ahead and move you know to the beginning of the first frame and we can set the opacity to zero okay so now if we move forward we can see the color beautifully fades in to the transition and then we can come to the end frame or close to it and press zero. I'm going to drag this out to the very last frame. And now if we come back and watch this transition here, we have a much more beautiful zoom transition because we added in a light leak. And now to the eye, most people wouldn't even notice this, but it's a beautiful way to actually um, add some color to your transitions. So hopefully that helped. Try that out in some of your next edits and check out the video if you haven't already on adding light leak transitions, getting them downloaded and putting them into your project.